Each year, thousands of applicants to the residency match in the US match with residency program through what is called the match algorithm. But how does this match algorithm work? Let's find out in this video. So to explain the match algorithm, I want to give you an example of an applicant who ranked 10 programs they interviewed with. Let's say the applicant ranked program A first and program A only has 10 spots. Progr program A probably have interviewed more than 10 spots to increase the chances of filling the spots. So let's say they interviewed 100 or 200 spots and they will probably rank most of the applicants they interviewed with, but there would be 10 applicants that would be ranked the highest and these are called rank to match because if these applicants wanted to match with the program, they will definitely match in because they are within the range of the number of spots that the program has. So let's go back to our applicant. If the applicant wanted to go to the program A and rank program A first, the applicant has two possibilities of matching with program A. The first one is if the applicant was ranked to match. In this case, if the applicant was within the top 10 because the program has 10 spots. If the program has five spots, the, pro the applicant has to be within the top five spots to be called rank to match. So this is the first possibility. But what if the applicant was not ranked to match? What if the applicant was not among the top 10 if the program has 10 spots? Does that mean that the applicant will not match at the program? Not necessarily, because the applicant still has a chance of matching with the program even though the applicant is not within the rank to match range. Why? The reason is not all programs fill their spots with their top choices. So in our case, the program ranked around 100 or 200 applicants and 10 were their best choices. But what if these 10 applicants wanted to go to another program? In this case, the program has to go down on the rank list. So an example, let's say applicant number two, three and four did not want to go to program A. So the program now has to fill the 10 spots. From the top 10 they have, they were able to fill seven. But these three applicants wanted to go somewhere else. So now they, they go down on the rank list, three, three spots to be able to fill the, the 10 spots they have. Let's say the program was not able to fill any of the spots from their top 10. They go down their rank list until they able to fill 10 spots. So if our applicant was ranked 11 or 12 and the program went down that far, the applicant would match at the program. So even if the applicant was not ranked to match, but was ranked close enough in case the program went down and the applicant was within that range, the applicant would, would match at that program. So the applicant has two possibilities of, of matching at the, at the program they, they wanted. First, being ranked to match or not trying to match, but close enough in case the program went down the rank list because other applicants wanted to go somewhere else. What if the program did not go far enough? Let's say the program went down, but to number 15 and the applicant was ranked 20. In this case, we would go to the second preference for the applicant. Let's say it's program B and the same process repeat itself. So if the applicant was ranked to match with program B, the applicant would go there. If the applicant was not ranked to match, but the program went down their rank list to include the applicant, the applicant would match at program B. What if the applicant was not ranked to match or within the range in case the program went down, the applicant would go to their third preference, fourth preference, fifth preference until the applicant would match at one of these programs. In case the applicant was not able to match at any of the programs, the applicant would not match and would go through what the SOAP process. And the SOAP process is another shot of matching with residency programs that were not able to fill their spots through the match process. So in summary, the match algorithm works for the advantage of the applicant. The applicant can match at their first choice if they were either ranked to match or within the range in case the program went down they would be included in the number of spots that the program has. If the applicant was not able to match at their first choice, the applicant would go down to their second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on until they're able to match. If the applicant was not able to match at any of the programs, the applicant can go in the SOAP process to have another chance of matching with residency program. I hope this video clarifies some of the confusion regarding the match process and the match algorithms. 
If you still have any question about this process, feel free to leave them in the comments below or reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at Malk Asad or my Facebook page Malk Asad MD. If you find any value in this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you get notified about future videos I post. Thank you everyone so much for watching and see you in future videos.